listening to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. Okay, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? Okay, best of luck. Let's play. Okay, for 100 quid, here's question number one. Nice one, it's the correct answer. Have a look at question number two, it's worth 200 quid. Absolutely correct. Well played. Here's question number three. It's worth £300. That's absolutely correct. Well done. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. Absolutely correct. Well played. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Absolutely spot on. Well done. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 Of which football club is the comedian Frank Skinner a supporter? Stoke City, Aston Villa, Manchester City, or West Bromwich Albion? That's correct. Well done. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. Which birds encourage Dumbo to fly in the Disney classic? Storks, pelicans, eagles, crows. It's absolutely correct. Well done. Okay, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. Which is a real city in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan? Plutonium City, Kryptonite City, Neptunium City, Uranium City. That's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. Which spirit is the basis of Pim's number one? Gin, vodka, brandy or rum? Wonderful, it's the right answer. 
Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. The Cocos Island form a dependency of which country? New Zealand, Australia, India, UK. Okay, you've decided to use your 50-50. Computer, please take away two random wrong answers, leave the correct answer, and the one remaining wrong answer. Right, you've decided to phone a friend, but who do you think will know the answer to this one? Now, hmm, this is a very tough question, and I have to admit, I don't think I know the answer. I'm so sorry. I do hope you get it right. Goodbye. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. In which country did the Borzoid dog originate? Russia, Germany, Czechoslovakia, Hungary. Right, you've decided to ask the audience. Now, let's hope they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. You didn't have to play that, but I bet you're glad you did. It's correct. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. What would a baldric maker have manufactured? Shoes, belts, armour, guns. Is that your final answer? If it's wrong, you lose £32,000. Of course it is, that's the right answer. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to 32 thousand pounds. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. Which battle is celebrated in the song Flower of Scotland? Flodden, Stirling, Bannockburn, Culloden. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Well played. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. In which two subjects did Prince Harry gain A-level passes? Music and art, art and geography, media studies and IT, or English and sport? Congratulations, that's the right answer.
Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have £500,000. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. Who wrote the novel Psycho on which Alfred Hitchcock's famous film was based? Lawrence Block, Patricia Highsmith, Robert Block, or Truman Capote? Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good luck. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?